More scenes like this today all across northeastern and central Pennsylvania. How the smoke from wildfires up north is affecting people's day to day lives in parts of our area. It's our top story on Newswatch 16 at 5. Good afternoon to you and thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Washington and I'm Stacy Lang. That heavy smoke is taking its toll on our area and the poor conditions are affecting people and businesses in Scranton. Newswatch 16's Courtney Harrison explains how people are protecting themselves and the closures because of the air quality. A smoky haze blanketed Scranton this afternoon. Visibility got worse as the day went on from the smoke drifting down from the wildfires in Canada. People were wearing masks walking around downtown to protect themselves from the smoke. Nikki Sanders was walking home from work and said she was thankful she had a mask in her bag. The smoke is kind of like strong, so I didn't want to breathe too much of it in. And I was out this morning without it on, so, and it's, you know, kind of like a walk, so wanted to try to protect myself as much as I can. The city of Scranton wanted to protect its employees who work outside, announcing this morning to keep non-emergency staff indoors for the day. Everything we do out is, is outside and it's strenuous work, so we didn't want to overtax them. So in the process of doing that, we suspended all of our highways work as well as our flood protection work. Scranton DPW Director Scott Petraface says garbage and recycling pickup was put on hold and hopes crews can resume the routes Thursday and finish by Saturday. This is the first time, first time we've seen this and it's, it, was, it was pretty brutal today. Scranton School District is also one of several districts in our area that decided to send students home early because of poor air quality. City Hall also closed early, but there were still lots of people going about their day. Sue Prisk says she usually plays golf in the morning, but decided to do some gardening instead. She did complain about the effects of being out in these conditions too long. I have a little bit of asthma problem, but I thought I'm going to wear a mask, you know. I can't breathe good, so I'm doing anyway. I got to use the eye drop for later. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Experts say it's best to stay indoors until air quality improves. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, Scranton.